Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to be here to present the lecture of Helicobacter pylori and gastric mortal lymphoma. My name is Kazuo Shimi. I'm now working at Kushiro Rosai Hospital, located at Kushiro City, Hokkaido, Japan. I used to be a professor of hematology at Juntendo University School of Medicine and also at Tokyo Women's Medical University, Tokyo, Japan. Let me start the first lecture. These are H. pylori. On electron microscopy, uh, this pylori has some fragile that are important for motility and chemotaxis. H. pylori are spiral shaped gram negative bacteria found usually in the stomach. H. pylori infection of the stomach is one of the most common diseases worldwide. It infects almost one third to two thirds of the world population with infection rates much higher in developing countries than in developed countries. H. pylori can cause various types of diseases including gastric cancer, gastric ulcer, duodenal ulcer, acute and chronic gastritis, gastric atrophy, and gastric mortal lymphoma. I'd like to focus this gastric mortal lymphoma. But before that, let me explain what is malignant lymphoma. They are malignant solid tumors derived from mature TB or NK cells or from their precursor cells. They develop in any place and one third in external nodal area. They are common malignancy found in Japan and other countries. Males are more affected than females. They are classified to Hodgkin lymphoma and non Hodgkin lymphoma and further class classified to various subtypes. Radiotherapy and chemotherapy are very effective. These are the examples of malignant lymphoma. Uh, this lady has a left axial lymphoid mass and her diagnosis is Hodgkin lymphoma. This old man had a skin tumor and uh, this is also malignant lymphoma. This is a uh, wide uh, mediastinum and this big tumor is originating from the thymus and the diagnosis is lymphoblastic lymphoma. This is nasal NK cell lymphoma and the tumor is found in the nasal cavity and paranasal sinus. This is an and a slide of normal architecture of a lymph node. There are many lymphatic follicles uh, close to the cortex. Diffuse large B cell lymphoma cells efface the normal architecture of the lymph nodes and the lymph lymphatic follicles uh, almost disappears. In this lymph node are uh, follicular-like lesions found all over in the lymph node. In the stomach we have two uh, lymphomas commonly found. One is external marginal zone lymphoma of mucosa associated lymph tissue or mortal lymphoma and this shows an indolent clinical course. And the other is diffuse large B cell lymphoma that shows an aggressive clinical course. This 
article uh, found in Cancer shows that in Japan there are various types of gastric lymphomas and the incidence is shown here. The authors divided to three major subtypes. One is low grade B cell lymphoma, the other is high grade B cell lymphoma, and the third is T cell lymphoma. And in large grade, uh, low grade B cell lymphoma, motor lymphoma is most common. And in high grade B cell lymphoma, diffuse large B cell lymphoma with and without motor lymphoma component are common. Uh, what is MORT? Uh, I'd like to explain what is MORT. MORT means mucosa associated lymphoid tissue or aggregates of lymph cells in the mucosal area. In normal tissues, MORT is found at the intest intest intestine, uh, sorry, intestinal tract, respiratory tract, and genital urinary tract. In normal gastric mucosa, aggregates of lymphoid tissue are lacking and they appear following an inflammatory process, configuring the mold. What is mold lymphoma? It's found in various tissues, including the stomach, lungs, thyroid gland, salivary glands, lacrimal glands and bowels. Mortal lymphoma may start where there has been long-term inflammation caused by infection or an autoimmune process. Mortal lymphoma of the stomach is caused usually by H. pylori infection. Uh, Mortal lymphoma is a lymphoma of marginal zone B cells and then what is marginal zone? Uh, this is a picture of a part of the spleen and this is an, this is an lymphatic follicle. Immature B lymph cells produced in the bone marrow migrate to this lymphatic follicle and it stays at marginal zone. And so the marginal zone B cells are small, resting, unstimulated lymph cells, and they are called naive B cells. These, these naive B cells are stimulated by antigens, and they rapidly proliferate in the germinal center, and they differentiate into either plasma cells or memory B cells and memory B cells uh, stay around here at marginal zone. Marginal zone lymphoma is thought to be derived from marginal zone B cells, a post-germinal center memory B cells. Marginal zone lymphoma is divided into splenic, nodal, and extranodal malignant zone, a marginal zone lymphoma. External marginal zone lymphoma of mucosa associated lymphoid tissue is mold lymphoma. As I already told, uh, gastric lymphomas are common gastric lymphomas are mold lymphoma and diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Mold lymphoma is caused by H. pylori infection and Diffuse large B cell lymphoma is usually caused by other uh, factors such as uh, genetic, some genetic mutations. But some of diffuse large B cell lymphomas uh, develops from more to lymphoma by uh, lymphoma cell transformation. Regarding the epidemiology of gastric mortal lymphoma, it occurs over a wide age range with a mean of 57 years. Male to female ratio is 1 to 2, 7 to 1. 
while its frequency is rising in the last two decades, primary gastric lymphoma remains a rare disease, representing nearly 2 to 8 percent of all tumors in, in the stomach, of the stomach. Regarding the pathogenesis and clinical characteristics of gastric mold lymphoma, only certain H. pylori strains in some predisposed patients determine lymphoma development in the stomach. According to a strain host organ specific process, the clinical presentation is poorly specific symptoms ranging from vague dyspepsia to alarm symptoms such as epigastralgia, uh, bleeding, and vomiting. Similarly, different endoscopy patterns have been described uh, such as erosion, ulcer, and tumor formation. This is an example of gastric mold lymphoma. When you look closer, this is a mold lymphoma, and this tumor may be a hyperplasia, but not a lymphoma. Three months after H. pylori was successfully eradicated, the tumor looks much smaller, uh, but the, and the biopsy findings show the residual presence of uh, lymphoma cells. Six months after H. pylori eradication, the mucosa looks almost normal, and biopsy did not show the presence of lymphoma cells. Regarding the histology of gastric mortal lymphoma, mortal lymphoma is mainly composed of small-sized lymphocytes that invade and destroy gastric glands, configuring the so-called lymphoepithelial lesion, which is pathognomonic of mortal lymphoma. Such immunophenotype of lymphoma cells are CD20 positive, 79. 8 positive, 5 negative, 10 negative, and 23 negative. And this phenotype can differentiate mold lymphoma from other lymphoma types. This is the uh, histology of gastric mold lymphoma. The lymphoma cells are small lymphocytes, and this. Uh, Mucosal uh, epithelial was, inv were, was invaded by this lymphocyte, and this uh, lesion is called lymphoepithelial lesion. Regarding the treatment of gastric mold lymphoma, H. pylori eradication is advised as first line therapy in early stage disease confined to the stomach and complete lymphoma remission is achieved in 75% of cases. Patients who failed to achieve lymphoma remission following H. pylori eradication are treated with radiotherapy or chemotherapy. Patients who have advanced stage disease, about 10% of cases are treated with chemotherapy. On the prognosis of gastric mold lymphoma, lymphoma stage, depth of infiltration in the gastric wall, presence of the API to mold 1 translocation. This uh, genetic mutation or abnormal is found about in about one third of the patient and when this is found, it means a worse prognosis. And also the localization in the stomach. Uh, when the tumor is found in the, at the distal portion of the stomach, the prognosis is better. So all these 
uh, factors have been identified as predictors of remission. The overall fi five-year survival and disease-free survival rates are as high as 90% and 75% respectively. So discovery of early stage disease by endoscopy and eradication of H. pylori are strongly recommended. Now I'm closing my lecture. Thank you very much for your attention.